Reality belongs to those who can influence the minds of others. Meister Mosey here. I'd like to welcome you all to Transcending Media, episode one. I've always wanted to say that. In any case, um, I thought we'd discuss a little bit about reality and what reality is and what people mean when they say in reality or when they tell people you need to be realistic or any term that has to do with reality because really no one knows what reality is you see we can figure out all the ins and outs and the the mechanisms that go towards creating a reality but that wouldn't explain what it is you know just as you know we can give birth to other human beings but we don't know what human beings are you know we have all these notions based on realities that have been presented to us of what a human being is but really i have yet to find someone who can tell me what a human being is you know you go to science um a human being is a culmination of billions of years of evolution which at one point you know meant that humans were monkeys and this is the theological aspect you know across religions well depending on which religions for for the ones based on um, Judaism or monotheism you know it's this notion that we were created by this supreme being out of clay or what have you and some other traditions they have the notion that we are actually being dreamt up by some supreme being and you know like so many of them so like you're left wondering what is reality you know one is telling you this the other is telling you that the other is telling you this and the other and it's, it's just a, a cesspool of theories and, and hypotheses and possibilities of what could be but not what is and that's where I have found myself trying to figure out what is you know because you cannot really understand or truly fathom what is possible unless you understand what is and that has brought me here where I'm sitting and have an understanding of reality as being one where it's based on people's beliefs rather than their knowledge you know especially this reality we live in a reality that is based primarily on beliefs there's a time in our history which is clearly evident depending on how you look at certain evidence that indicates that we people or humans had a, a civilization or lived in a civilization that was grounded more in knowledge instead of beliefs which is why we have structures laying around for thousands tens of thousands of years as a testament to what was known rather than what was believed and what was known was that mm, what is left in stone or what is put in stone is more likely to stick around than something say that's written on paper or even worse made digital and you know going down these trains of thought you, you begin to see how we're all pretty much slaves everybody who needs money especially is the biggest slave of them all but we're all slaves in the sense that our imaginations do not belong to us from the get-go I mean well I take that back I'll say from 
zero to around four, three or four years old, our imaginations are ours. They're free and rampant and anything is possible. But in this reality, there's a limit to what your imagination can perceive or what it's allowed to perceive or allowed to entertain after a certain age. You know, like going to school is part of that mechanism that ensures that the imagination does not remain free. And I'm pretty sure that there are people out there who, like me, were able to sense this from very early on in their childhoods, where they could sense that there was something wrong with that entire structure or or cube I, I don't know how to describe it well pretty much a, a cell a prison of what our parents send us to or where our parents send us which is school you know I, I remember having very vivid dreams of not being able to escape school when I was in you know first through third grade or so you know until I became comfortable and started to enjoy it not for the academic purposes but because you know my friends I had friends these were my friends at school you know and you know delving into trying to understand what all these things meant you begin to find that reality is 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 there for the taking it's always there for the taking and it just depends on people's vigilance which is why we live in a society that is just bamboozling people with distractions so that they cannot be able to see that the reality that has been set in place for them i.e. I'm born, I go to school, I get a job, I get married, I have kids, continue this job. If it's a well-paying job, I can retire. If it's a shitty job, I work until I'm 70 years old and then I retire and then I die and then, you know, make sure that the generation after me is following in the same footsteps. You know, that is the reality in which we live in. You, it's unavoidable except for the people who understand that aspect of how reality functions, in which case they're more free than the rest of us, especially if they're, you know, they have access to resources that majority of people don't. So with that said, we must understand how this reality is kept in place and what holds it up and what structures or rather what pillars you know these these psychological pillars that have been put and imprinted in the minds of people for a very long time such as you know religion and government money you know all these things are things that are reality creators you know religion creates a reality based on whatever entity or whatever ideologies are prevalent in the minds of the people the government ensures that that reality you know is has some physical authority present you know so some people can have a sense of yeah it's real because you know there's a government here upholding its statutes or whatever and then you need the money to then to continue to enforce that physical appearance of realness and it's a very meticulous game you know, like the people who thought this up were not foolish people, although they are psychopathic and really don't give a shit about anybody else but themselves. And it's not anything like what these people like to to call Illuminati and this and that, blah, 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 Freemasons. Yes, they play a part, but th this mechanism is something 
that has been around for th- tens of thousands of years it's it's it 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 it, it goes beyond secret uh, civilizations you know it goes beyond what civilizations brew the types of philosophies and societies and secret societies that civilizations have it's a psychological thing it's it's something it's it's the dark side per se of the human being you know like humans have the potential to do very good and they have potential to do very bad and the potential to do very bad when it has the information on you know when it has the know-how on how reality functions you know will tend to do things that are not very pleasant you know so how the world appears right now is pretty much in the image of the darker aspect of the human psyche that was reached by people who had access to the resources to implement these mechanisms you see so it it's it's very simple once you start to look at myths and fables or so-called myths and fables such as you know our religious text in the bible the the gitas from the hindus the torah the, even the quran the quran also has a lot of very ancient information that predates islam and because of the reality that has been put in place you know with this god figure and whatnot people have seemed to have forgotten that they they seem to have forgotten that most of our religious texts were just reminders they were just reminders for a degenerating from a degenerating uh, society like this one for example once when when all is said and done in this society collapses in and of itself you know a lot of the stories that we tell allegorically such as 1984 or even animal farm those could be seen as you know creation myths at some point 5000 in the future you know they'll think that oh look at these primitive people who thought pigs could talk and blah 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 but the people who were reading it 5000 years ago understood that they were representative of this aspect of that culture or that aspect of this culture or um, among other things so it's it's a very again it's a very meticulous structure it's a it's a con you know a good con artist and we'll talk about this a little more about things like constitutions you know but in any case a con artist a very good con artist will make you believe that the shit you're getting is not shit you know so the people who've created this reality have created the sense that it's real whereas it's just a reality that's within a, a more real reality you know and that's the power or that's the that idea of man being created in god's image comes from you know you could see it one way being that we are creators and what we see or what we believe can manifest and become you know our everyday world or you know you could say it physically in which case you know you'd be talking about genetic engineering which is another topic of discussion but in any case we're still on the topic of reality and yes it's a, it's, it's very it's actually very simple you know i think it's very simple once people stop lying to themselves you know it's one thing to lie to other people but lying to yourself is a whole other thing where you're trying to convince yourself that something is true that if you believe for long enough a sign will come ar- around and confirm that that lie that you believe in is 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 true you know it's the essence of faith you know i mean it's it's necessary you know it's a necessary thing for willpower willpower needs something a form of motivation you know faith is fuel for the willpower but that has been now subverted where now you know faith and belief have been put in a place that subvert your willpower while you're waiting for someone else's willpower to be imposed on you it's a it's a, it's a mind fuck you know 
sorry to say that we're all mind fucked. But at the end of the day, reality is anyone's for the taking, really. And um, this is just uh, an intro episode, so if there are any questions or any additions or just any feedback whatsoever to anyone listening to this, just uh, let us know. And I'm pretty sure we will be discussing it again in the not-so-distant future.